What's up, New York? How are you? My name is Joan. I'm here at the movie screening and premiere of Father's Day. Yes, I'm here with Mr. Jazz Anderson. How are you? What's up? Nothing much. What's up? Tell <laughs> me. Uh, you know, I'm just here supporting Roz and Coleman. I'm here supporting my man Dale, Heather, uh, Squeaky Moore, Father's Day premiere. You know, I'm just blessed to be a part of such uh, such a great film, mm -hmm. such great work, such great people. I mean, you see the atmosphere, it's like, definitely. it's a beautiful day to be black in the neighborhood, you definitely, heard? Definitely, definitely. So what have you been up to? Any uh, any new endeavors that you have planning? Yeah, well, you know, after Brooklyn's Finest, which was excellent, excellent. Um, I had a chance to work on a new CBS show that's coming out. Okay. It's produced by Robert De Niro. Okay. It's airing, actually, this Sunday. Uh, 10 p.m. on CBS, we're taking over the slot of CSI Miami. Okay. My character is a, a character named Mo Bailey. I have a guest star role with a possible reoccurring. So please watch and tune in because I need this money for my kids. I'm a father. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Definitely so. celebrating Father's Day. That's definitely exactly. fitting. Exactly. Uh, other than that, I have a new movie coming out called Officer Down. I have a supporting lead role, and it actually is going to be my first film, and I'm getting opening credits. Marcus Scoffrey Bay. Mark, Mr. Marcus Scoffrey Bay is here to support the movie screening of Father's Day. So what brings you here today? Well, I'm invited here by Heather Sky. She actually played the lead in one of my movies. And anything that she puts her hands to is always an amazing project. And I know how, how much work it takes to put a project like this together. And I'm just here to show my support. We're here to celebrate Father's Day, which is, you know, a great storyline. It's something that hits home with everyone. What's your take on, you know, a um, absentee fathers and its effect on the generation? It was not sad. I mean, I, you know, I grew up without my father. I mean, I, of course, I know who my father is and things like that, but he wasn't in the house. He played really no part in my upbringing. And, um, and it's, it's a sad thing, but that's when people like uncles and, and brothers, brothers and, and, and grandfathers and Neighbors. football coaches. Let me tell you, I mean, there were times when I, I had a neighbor who um, I was 10 years old, took me fishing, first time, you know, and uh, we spent the whole summer fishing, and he would share, you know, some knowledge about manhood and thing like things like that. Then a guy passed away, you know, and it was sad, but I mean, he was able to, to pass something on to me, you know, so one day, you know, when I have a son or daughter, doesn't, you know, I can take them fishing. It's just, li it's just little things like that, you know, and um, I have, um, I have nieces and nephews who, um, you know, they've been product of divorce. So I've had to play a role, you know, a major role in their lives. And, and that's what it's about. You know, it's just um, it's just, just giving yourself and, and not expecting something in return. Right. You know, it's the littlest thing. It's the littlest thing. A conversation, a pat on the back, a, just a question. Hey, how are you doing today? Right. And you'll be surprised because a lot of people without that father figure they feel alone right. you know there's a lot of things that they're holding within themselves that they may not feel like they can tell a woman right. you know and um, so I encourage all men to try to to give back to to the youth you know in any way they in any way shape form or fashion that they can and um, it'll it'll definitely be an investment in our future Terranova, Washington. Hi, Miss Terranova, Washington. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm great. What brings you here today for the screening of Father's Day? Well, you know, I had to come out and support Squeaky Moore. You know, we writers and filmmakers, I'm an executive producer, we have to come together and support. And it's such a great film. Father's Day is a wonderful, wonderful film. Damien, Hollywood Lee. Hollywood T. So how are you doing today, Mr. I'm Hollywood? Good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. What brings you out today? Well, I'm coming to represent Father's Day, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a small part in it, you okay. know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Not small, not too small. You got a part. I got a, I got a part in it, you know what I'm saying? So, how do you feel about the movie? I mean, like, what did you take away? Well, this is going to be my first time seeing it. Okay. Um, but I think more so it's just about the message, you know what okay. I mean? That's why I just hold people out here, you know, just catch the message. Just, you know, it's good that everybody come around and, you know, show love. But, right, right. you know, when they leave here, you know what I mean? They leave here with something that right. they saw from the movie. What's up, New York? This is Joan, and I have here the lovely Miss Anika Brown. How are you, Miss Anika Brown? How are you tonight? Thank you. Good.
What brings you out to the screening tonight? Oh, well, my daughter just participated in a short film. Oh, really? Yes. What was her role in the film? Uh, she played Janaya. Janaya? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any, you know, any idea about what the role was or about? Oh, yes. She was um, the little girl whose dad uh, was a single parent. Okay. And uh, she was babysat by the, the main character. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she kind of influenced the main character and her journey throughout okay. the whole dealings with her father. What's up, New York? This is Joan, and I'm here with the lovely Miss Tamika. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What brought you out tonight? What well, brought me out tonight is my friend. His wife is in the movie, so I'm here to support him and his wife. Any info you would like to give in, in, in terms of what a father means to you? A father means to me somebody that you can go to to confide in, somebody that's there to protect you and nurture you. Al Tejeda. Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? I'm good, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. What what brought you out to the Father's Day screening tonight? Well, you know, special invited guest type of thing, so I'm showing some love to the filmmakers out here. Definitely. So what do you have brewing, you know? I hear that you self-promoted a lot of your, you know, new films and everything. Anything that you'd like everyone to know about that's cooking? Oh, most definitely. Um, I'm with a company, 99 Ways Entertainment. Um, we've put out documentaries in the past that aired out in London. Um, we did a hit um, docudrama called Gangster City Straight DVD a couple of years back. Um, and we just put out a um, feature film, Joy Road, directed by Harry Davis, a native from Detroit. Any, any words of wisdom that you would give for those young, upcoming fathers that are now trying to find their way? Well, definitely be there for your kid, work hard, and, um, you know, Go for it. Whatever your dream is, go for it and definitely provide for your, your little ones because they are the future. Definitely. I mean, this is What's Up New York. Anyone you like to say what's up to? Shout out to 99 Ways Entertainment and everybody in New York City. Love. What's up, New York? I'm here. I'm here with the fellas. We have... Kalichi Noel. And... And Omar Derby. What brings you guys out to the Father's Day screening tonight? Well, I saw the trailer, and I'm a supporter of the independent movement in uh, films especially, and I know Squeaky, okay. and um, I came to support. And what brings you out tonight? Well, similar to him, because we're filmmakers also. Oh, so filmmakers as well. Yes, so last year we, uh, we interviewed, not uh, interviewed, we auditioned Squeaky okay. for a movie, which are actually still in the process of fundraising for. So that's how we got involved with Squeaky, and you know, she told me about the project last year, and I was there in the infancy of it and everything, so I'm just here to support, you know, and just enjoy the night, you know, Definitely. so. I mean, if there's one thing I've noticed is that everyone here is helping everyone get to where they need to go, and that's amazing, the camaraderie between everyone. Um, do you feel that that's what it's going to take for everyone to pretty much succeed, everyone helping each other out? Eventually, yes. Now, um, yeah, every project, especially from a minority, right. every project that you see, it has some affiliation, and it needs right. that, you know, um, any, any big project out there, there's right. somebody behind it, either executive producing it, producing it, directing some, some, something. 